guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a Bath & Body Works haul for you guys. And then as part of this Bath & Body Works haul, I'm going to be showing you guys what I got in the fall tote bag. So remember now, they have came out with the fall tote bag for 2018. And if you spent a minimum of $30, then you get the bag filled with fall goodies for $30. And I picked the bag up on Friday, I want to say. So yeah, and uh, you know, I want to go ahead and show you guys what came in this super cute tote bag. By the way, I think the tote bag is cute. It's filled with fall goodies. Who doesn't love fall? Now I'm excited for fall you guys, but I want to enjoy every moment of summer because where I live I feel like it's fall and winter all the time So when summer is here and the weather is warm, you know, I totally welcome it and enjoy it and soak up every uh, Moment so yeah, um, you know, I wasn't really quite ready for fall But I don't mind getting fall things ahead of time So yeah, I knew I was going to get this canvas tote bag and then also I'm the type of person where I love to collect canvas canvas tote bags and um, I love getting souvenirs wherever we visit on vacation different states different cities and things like that I always pick up you know your typical postcards keychains but I also collect canvas bags so yeah tote bags so yeah this one was really really cute it is plain and simple but it's perfect for the days that we head up to the lake as a family. Oh, and if you're following me on Instagram, then you probably saw some of those lake pictures. But yeah, I like to pack my tote and head out to the lake and have some family fun. And then I'm going to show you guys um, what's in this bag. So obviously, um, I'm going to show you the purchase that I had to make in order to get that tote bag on the special. And originally, I believe that the tote bag um, retails for like 100 plus dollars so it was actually a good deal in my opinion okay guys so make sure you are subscribed and make sure you give this video a thumbs up and turn on your bell that way you never miss a video of mine and we shall get right into this haul okay so we'll get started with what's in this bag okay so this is how my transaction went I bought three candles they were on sale for $12.95 over the weekend um, and then of course that would put me at over $30 and then there was a coupon where if you spent you know $10 then you can get an item up to $14 so I'm going to show you guys that um, and yes, there were cheaper ways to get to the $30. I realized that. But I wanted these particular three candles, so hey, why not? All right, we're going to start with Toasted S'mores. This is dark chocolate, fluffy marshmallow, and graham cracker, you guys. And this has essential oils. Okay, that's what it looks like. Super cute with the lantern and everything right there. Toasted S'mores. Oh, and this is the decoration on the lid. Um... It's like a camping forest picture. There's a fire and then your little campsite. I'll just put it like this so I don't blind you guys, but that's the cute lid. Oh, and as soon as I took this lid off, oh my goodness, I can totally smell this. Mmm, it smells so good. Oh my goodness. Mm, that smells good you guys. Now I get hit with the dark chocolate first, but it's not pungent. It's just smooth and then I actually get a lot of chocolate you guys let me know the ones that have this candle or have burned it do you guys get anything other than smooth rich chocolate I'm not getting so much marshmallow and I'm not really getting graham cracker see I'm getting smooth rich dark chocolate I definitely get that and then there's another note behind it that is almost like a milkiness, a creaminess. And that is not marsh. I guess it could be what is supposed to be the fluffy marshmallow. But it smells like warm milk to me. And I don't get graham cracker. But that's okay because this smells amazing. I'm definitely not getting s'mores. Okay, but the dark chocolate is amazing and it smells good and smooth. And maybe once it's burning, I'll actually pick up, you know, a s'more because I am not getting that but it still smells good so that's okay and so that's toasted s'mores okay the next one that I picked up you guys is wildflower meadow this is sunlit daisies wild poppy and sweet green grass I love this one you guys it is just a floral lovers dream you know I happen to love flowers 
roses, you know, that sort of smell. And oh my goodness, you guys, this is amazing. I can just keep my nose in this candle all day long. This is a floral done beautifully. It smells like a high-end floral perfume. It smells amazing, you guys. If you want to try a beautiful floral soft scent, then try this one. I need to turn this particular candle into body care and definitely into a perfume because I would definitely buy it all of it like seriously it is so soft and it's just perfect like I don't know you know some floral scents you do get hit with the floral and see I love that as well because I'm just a floral fan you know but um this one just kind of makes its way in there and it's just soft and subtle and smooth it's very nice it's so sophisticated and like I said it does remind me of a high-end perfume can't put my uh, finger on it, but yeah, this is pretty special. Okay, now, the last candle that I picked up is Waffle Cone. It is so, so cute. I have hauled this candle before, you guys. The wax color is beautiful. The picture is so fun and perfect for summer. But let me tell you. Well, first, I'll read the scent notes. Sweet Summer Berries, Golden Waffle Cone, and Creamy Vanilla. Yes, this is just like Berry Waffle Cone that we all know and love, although I missed out on that candle, so I was excited to get this one. Well, guess what? I took back all the backups that I had of this candle. And then I was thinking, you know what, no, I better keep one or go back and get one to complete my collection because honestly, you guys, I burned this one and I thought that I was going to pass out. Like seriously, it was hard for me to breathe. I felt like I was choking. <laughs> like this was a tough candle to try to love. I wanted to love it so badly because on cold it smells amazing. It smells just like a vanilla ice cream cone. Even if you've sat and made your own homemade waffle cones warm, and then you put vanilla ice cream in there, maybe some sprinkles, and then you just had fresh berries on the top. I don't know, just getting creative, okay? That is what it smells like on cold. So I was thinking, you know what? I'm gonna have to buy tons of these and everything, but this was such a letdown, and I was so shocked about that. And I was telling some of my friends on Instagram and they were like, what? And one of the girls that's an Instagram uh, friend of mine, she kind of had the same problem. So it was just so weird. It smells like burning plastic. I was so upset about that. I kept trying to um, work with the candle as far as, you know, giving it a chance, maybe just waiting a day and lighting it again. And I just instantly feel like my throat was closing and I had to cough. And I've never really had that experience um, with candles before. And then it's so weird. I had the same thing happen with Cherry Snow Cone. It just smelled like, that one smelled like it literally was on fire. So I was just like, oh no. Like when I light a candle, I want to smell a beautiful scent. I don't want that burnt plastic or just a burning, um, uh, you know, scent that is unpleasant. And so, you know, I've had to really just kind of dwindle down my collection with that, um, with the Polaroid collection. Now, to be honest, I haven't burned the others, so I will, you know, definitely see how those burn. But so far, um, you know, I just really, really wanted to love this one. Now, don't be shocked at the fact that I'm obviously going to keep this one for my collection to look at to admire, to sit there and be pretty. I am never going to burn it because I want to breathe, okay? So I'm never going to like this one, but I had to get it. And then my daughter got this one too because, you know, maybe she might have, you know, better experience with it. And I'm sure maybe you guys have had better experiences with this one because I've read the reviews on Instagram and you guys, you know, love it and stuff, but I can't with this candle because I love to breathe.
And you know, don't always stop at someone's opinion of things. Get your own opinions, you guys, because you may buy a waffle cone, take it home, light it, and totally enjoy it. It might work out wonderful for you, but for me, it didn't. So yeah, I'm going to keep it at just that one. And so I was really, really sad because it's so cute and adorable. Oh, oh my goodness. So anyhow, my free item, remember I said if you spend a minimum of $10, you get a free item up to $14. And so I grabbed the um, Ultra Shea Body Cream because I love my Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds. Oh, it smells like marshmallow and cotton candy. And so, yeah, and the picture is super, super cute and nice. I've hauled this a bunch of times. So, yeah, you guys already know. And this retails for $13.50, so it came in right under, you know, that uh, $14 uh, price cutoff. So, yeah. Love Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds. Oh gosh, I love this stuff. So that's Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds. Okay, so those were all the items that I had to purchase in order to get to the tote bag. Here's the tote bag, you guys. I was excited to get it because, I, like I said, I love tote bags. I love little things like this. And hey, why not? $30. Like, seriously, why not? Okay, so this is what it looks like in the inside. Just a very basic but super cute. And then it retails for $108.75. This is the VIP box um, that it will come in. These are your fall goodies. Look at that, guys. Okay, so right off the top, I am excited to see champagne, apple, and honey. This obviously is body cream, and this is in new packaging. Obviously, this has been around. And it is pink lady apples, sparkling champagne, jasmine honey, boysenberry nectar, and autumn woods. Crisp, sunshiny days. Apple orchards open across the land. Leaves all bright and everything's all right because it's that time of year when all your favorite ingredients are here. All right, we got a little rhyme going there. Okay, so let me smell. <laughs> Let's see. Well, I'll put it in. Mm, it smells good, you guys. Already, even before I put it up to my nose. Mm, it smells really good. I do get a little bit of champagne effervescence along with crisp apple. This isn't like, you know, you're baking a, you know, apple pie, you know, in your oven and things like that. This is more like crisp. Like you're outside playing in leaves near an apple tree and you pluck one and, you, well, let's hope you clean it and stuff like that and then you eat it and this is always a fall staple for me too and look at the cute packaging with the big old apple right there yeah it's cute some people hate it some people love it i'm part of the group that loves it i always will love it i wish it didn't get so much hate it stays around for a reason because people buy it and people love it and people like it and guess what it's sweet cinnamon pumpkin oh my goodness i see so many people dragging this poor scent uh, on Instagram, meaning I see so many people making fun of this scent and talking about how much they don't like it. And I'm just like, oh, I don't know why, <laughs> because I love it. But then again, like I said, you guys, when I got back into Bath and Body Works, it's literally been about mm, three to four years. It hasn't really been that long. So I haven't worked up to the point where I'm sick of everything and oh, I'm tired of repackages and oh my goodness, how dare they bring that out. See, I am not angry, I am not mad. These are just body care products. Like you seriously do not have to buy them uh, or shop there if you hate it so much. That's what I don't understand. Um, but maybe for those who have been collecting and have been shopping at Bath and Body Works for over 10 years or 20 years, maybe they're burned out and tired of it. But see, this is still fairly new to me, so I'm excited. If you guys wonder why I'm excited, it seems like I love everything because I do and it's genuine and there aren't that very many scents that offend me. And you'll notice that if I don't like them, they just won't be part of my haul. You know what I mean? Um, but I'll still give my honest opinion, my honest feedback. Back. I love sweet cinnamon pumpkin okay so yeah <laughs> so anyhow this is obviously the gentle foaming hand soap with pure honey honey it's fall crisp air your favorite sweater changing leaves it's our favorite time of the year 
and this is pumpkin cinnamon and sugar cane very simple very to the point and I love it love it love it love it okay so first sniff yep just as I always remember now this smells like nutmeg cinnamon brown sugar creamy pumpkins it smells like fall I think that's why I really really love this one because when I start to sniff this I know that fall is right around the corner like seriously and then I happen to be one of those people that love pumpkin everything I love pumpkin everything like my cup hubby and kids seriously think I'm like crazy especially you know when you go to Target they come out with like pumpkin everything pumpkin chocolate bars pumpkin drinks just pumpkin candy uh, pumpkin popcorn just pump no I'm, okay there's no pumpkin popcorn I made that up but you know for theatrics I said that but anyhow you get the drift I buy pumpkin everything and, and then I make my kids and my husband sample it all and they're like please stop please stop we need the pumpkin police like seriously <laughs> Oh my goodness so that's a sweet cinnamon pumpkin love all of the pumpkins oh my goodness okay next up is warm vanilla sugar this is obviously a shower gel and you know what I like about warm vanilla sugar it is basic it is basically like okay well I'll read you the keynotes intoxicating vanilla white orchid sparkling sugar fresh jasmine and creamy sandalwood indulge in cozy irresistible warm vanilla sugar and wrap yourself in sheer bliss mm. it does smell good it is very very basic though you know what i mean it's just like brown sugar and cinnamon and warmth and then a hint of creaminess and I told my daughter that this would be a good shower gel to use as a basis for a lot of the fall and winter scents that are going to be coming out. If you don't want to have a shower gel that matches each and every scent and you want to save money, I would get some warm vanilla sugar because this can tie into a lot of different scents. It is not too strong. It is not too heavy because you're thinking of sugar. You're thinking, oh, this is going to be, you know, heavy and everything. No, it's actually not. It's a light, sugary, sweet sort of cinnamon brown sugar um, scent that works well with a lot of these fall um, fragrances. And that's just my opinion. Um, I'm definitely going to use it, you know. I actually wanted to see more new items, you know, in the tote bag. But hey, this is fine. And then look at the little baby marshmallow pumpkin latte. Now marshmallow pumpkin latte is not my fave. Um, there is something in there that cuts the scent for me and kind of ruins it. I think it might be too heavy on the musk, but I know a lot of people love it. Mm. Yeah, see it's like a strong coffee scent that you've mixed maybe with some marshmallows and then you just douse it with a whole lot of heavy musk and that kind of ruins it for me. But it was part of the tote bag and the packaging is super cute. This is last year's packaging. So yeah, I might pass this one on to my daughter. Um, I'm not sure, but nonetheless it's super cute and it does scream fall. Look at those leaves, look at those beautiful leaves. Okay, and it also comes with pumpkin butter hand cream in the marshmallow pumpkin latte scent i love this pattern and so maybe it'll be a little different and more enjoyable in the hand cream so let me see here i'll probably try a little bit of it let me see see there you go now i feel that this little hand cream this little tube doesn't have all that heavy musk in it you know like the little like the little companion um you know so don't be so quick to give up on a scent try it in different forms you may like it in different forms you may love it in the spray but hate it in the shower gel or vice versa i love it in this i get mostly just a top note of creamy brown sugar with maybe musk but it's not an overwhelming amount of musk mm, that smells really really good <laughs> so yeah and also in that tote bag, you get a pocket bag, which is crisp morning air. The hand soap in this is super, super cute and smells really, really good. And crisp morning air is like leaves. It's outdoorsy. It's a nice fall scent. It's nice and crisp. And so there, it's a little squirrel carrying a giant acorn. <laughs> so yeah. Okay, so the last thing in our VIP box. Now, I just gave you the spiel about sweet cinnamon pumpkin. So, 
you know I had to have this one then because voila, there is sweet cinnamon pumpkin in the white barn packaging. I love the color. I love, oh yes, sweet cinnamon pumpkin. Oh my goodness. It is so summer right now, but sniffing this is totally putting me in a fall mood. Oh gosh, I love sweet cinnamon pumpkin and I get so excited when I smell it. So, I mean, let me know if you're part of the sweet cinnamon pumpkin fan club. Seriously, because I am. I love it, love it. It's harvest pumpkin, spice clove, vanilla cream, and brown sugar. Yes, I get all of that. I get all of that. Pumpkin, I do get nutmeg, cinnamon, brown sugar, vanilla, all rolled into one a fall staple okay now i have seen some pics of how sweet cinnamon pumpkin is going to look in the other packaging i do prefer that packaging this candle is just sort of um plain to me i hardly ever buy the white barn versions because they're just plain um but then there are people that love that plain look because it blends into their decor a little better and i totally get that um but hey, I will totally, you know, be on board with this because it happens to be a scent that I love. Oh my good. Smell that, you guys. Just smell it. Just smell it. <laughs> oh, I'll smell it for you. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, okay, okay. I have to remember it's summer. It's summer. It's summer. <laughs> Okay, you guys, we are done here. Um, also, let me know if you guys want me to haul. I've been finding like the cutest clothing and stuff like that. And I go to a lot of different stores, but I still have my basic stores that I go to that have great clearance um, sections, that have great prices right now. And then I'm going to be taking my kids one by one. We're going to be going uh, back to school shopping. Let me know if you want to see those back to school hauls. Now, I have this year returning to school. It's just my boys. I can't believe it. And then my oldest son, Jeremiah, is going to be at high school. And my daughter just graduated. My other daughter graduated years you know, before. Okay, so she's already out of school. And then my 10-year-old, well, he's still going to be at elementary school. <laughs> You guys, I have a lot of kids now. I told you I had a lot of kids. Okay, so I've got my two boys will be returning, okay? And I'm going to be doing all of their back to school stuff. Let me know if you want me to show you guys how I'm saving money for back to school, what um, things that I buy them, what is, I guess, trendy and fun for, you know, teenage boys and, you know, younger boys, school age boys. Um, so yeah, and then I might get myself a couple of things and everything. And we're gonna be shopping for our daughters as well too because they're gonna be going to college and stuff like that and they need stuff too. Okay, you guys, so if you want to see those hauls, just say, we want to see the hauls. That's it. Just put that in there. Thumbs up this video, and I will do those hauls. And then, um, uh, you guys really love, you know, um, the things that I wear. I will, I will try to include more um, fashion videos and stuff like that um, so that I can, you know, film it to where you can see exactly my whole outfit and everything because I'm just loving Look, Look how cute these shirts are. And you guys, I pay next to nothing because... I go to clearance sections, okay? I go to the sale racks and I just take my time. And yeah, so let me know if you wanna see some fashion hauls, some fashion try-ons, I will try to do that. If it works out, I'll post it, but if not, I'll at least show you where to go to find your fashion. And these things are not plus size, although I have a plus size body, okay? Super proud of these curves, okay? And then um, I get extra large. So I can shop straight sizes as long as they include extra large. And I have, I'm very well endowed, you, you, you know. I'm, so I look for my clothes that have stretch. They've got to be able to hold, you know what I'm saying, okay. <laughs> I'm sure there's ladies out there that can uh, relate. So yeah, and I've just, you know, been having fun. So, and you guys have been asking for more fashion and some more beauty and more uh, makeup videos and everything. So I will try to include more of that. So you guys, thank you so much for joining me today. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, Starfires.